TR6S packs a pretty impressive amount of features into a small and portable machine, which by the way, can also be battery powered. And just like its bigger brother, the TR8S, it has three completely different ways of generating sounds. And lastly, it has all of the user slots and all of the sounds of the TR8S. Now let's start with a recap of our sound engines. At first, of course, we have ACB or analog circuit behavior, which is our famous component level modeling of vintage rolling machines. So this means you get the accurate sound, but also the accurate behavior of the original machine. And let's try that out at first with the TR-808. And now let's try it with a TR-909. We also have our second way of generating sounds, which is of course sample import. And finally, like you heard in the beginning, FM sound engine. Okay, so let's have a look at the sequencer and see what that can do. Of course, it is a roll and drum machine, so we have our classic TR recorder with 16 steps, but we do have some other cool tricks as well, so let me show you that in a bit. But first, I'm gonna start simple by just taking a hi-hat, putting it all over the 16 steps, and then go from there. And there's my hi-hat. Now I'm gonna put a couple of sub-steps in. So a sub-step is basically a re-trigger, so you can re-trigger a step up to four times. I'm gonna put a couple of snares there. And now I'm gonna play the kick and bass, but I'm gonna do that live with these little pads here. So in instant record mode. So there we got a basic beat going. Now let's play around with the real time control parameters. Uh, we can go to the bass here again and we can play around with the tuning or the decay or decay and tuning. And also on the control knob, I have assigned the FM more function. But the really cool thing is I can also record these motions into the motion recorder, just like on the TR-8S. And actually I've cheated a little bit because I already prepared some motion for the tuning on the bass. So when I press play now, you're gonna get more of a bass line happening essentially. And uh, I wanna add something on top as well. I actually have this little uh, vocal sample here. And uh, it's quite long, but I'm gonna re-trigger it all over the pattern like this. And what I wanna do now is uh, actually play with a motion for this, but I'm gonna do it manually this time. So not in real time recording, but actually just putting in different values on different steps. So the effect I want is to have a bunch of short hits and a bunch of long hits. So we get a kind of nice uh, gated effect to this, uh, to this sample. So let's try what this sounds like. And now with the drums. And now we can also play around with the pitch shifting as well on top of this. And then that means we basically got a kind of a scratch effect. So that's some of the fun you can have with the motion recording and the sequencer. Okay, so let's add some additional stuff on top of this. We have in the TR6S, of course, a lot of really cool effects, just like on the TR8S. And this even includes the new effects from the TR8S 2.0 update. For instance, here on this drum loop, I have the new frequency shifter. But I have some other nice effects as well. Like on the hi-hat, we have assigned a bit crusher. And as you can hear, I can easily control the balance of these effects live. On the bass, again, I have a really nice compressor distortion combination. Now let's put these together and see what that sounds like. And of course, we also have a nice master effect section as well. So 
So uh, that is a little bit about the effects, but now I want to show you also some special tricks we can do with the TR6S in the sequencer. For instance, we have last step, which is a really cool function, and it essentially it sets the last step of the pattern, but this last step is only for that specific channel you've chosen. So rather than affecting the whole pattern, you can do it on a single channel. So what this means is I can, for instance, go to last step setting uh, and set my bass track to be 14 steps, while I keep the rest at 16 steps. So let's play that back and see what that sounds like. And now you can hear we have a whole new kind of polymetric feel to it. But my favorite special trick with the TR6S is probably the step loop function. Now the step loop function takes one step of the entire pattern and then just loops it over and over again for as long as you hold it down. And you can do this with any of the 16 steps, but you can also do it with multiple steps in a chain. So let's check it out. So, there you have it, the TR6S, a portable, professional-level drum machine. It has three sound engines, all the sounds and user slots of the TR8S, a built-in MIDI interface, built-in audio interface, and also built-in conventional MIDI.